Hello, this is Brian again. So I've been climbing up a little way. You can see there's an old cistern over here. Let's go over here. There are a lot of these here in the San Gabriel Mountains. You can see the moon setting. A little white dot in the center of the screen. Finally, somebody parked down at uh, the Grizzly Flats trailhead. I guess this is supposed to be an old cistern or something. You see these uh, quite a bit here in the San Gabriels. <laughs> I'll this little this little turn out here on the fire road. You notice? Know, I don't know if you saw the, sh the first screen. The the first shot of the screen. Already, there's a little fork there. I didn't anticipate a fork this soon. So I'm gonna have to check that out. Uh, hopefully, the one on, I'm assuming the one on the left is probably gonna dead end, but you never know. I think the top of this is supposed to say Hoyt Mountain. Could climb up that, but that looks sketchy as heck. So, but I seen video on YouTube of people over here. A nice little patch of chaparral right here too. More uh, thick leaf Arab Santa or hoary leaf. No, it's the hoary leaf. The thick leaf Arab Santa. I'm just kind of spaced out there for a minute. A lot of it along here. This is uh, this is a uh, area dictum uh, crassifolia variety crassifolium. And if you go further in the mountains, you'll actually find its uh, its uh, very close uh, relative, the the bicolored yerba santa, which is Area dictyon crassifolium variety nigrescens. And I did a spotlight on, been have done a spotlight on both of these plants before, but it's already blooming. It's got the purplish tubular flowers and a little bit of that smoky yerba santa scent. Oh, of course, chemise. That's an omnipresent plant here in the San Gabriels. Here in the San Gabriels, I've seen it obviously down near sea level, the, lo the lowest portions of SoCal, and I've seen it here in the San Gabriels as uh, chemise. Seen that as high as 6,200 feet here in the San Gabriels. Seen it as high as 6,300 feet in the Santa Rosa Mountains and as high as 6,700 feet in the San Jacinto Desert Divide area along the Pacific Crest Trail, believe it or not. Kind of shocked that I've seen chemise that high up in uh, the San Bernardino National Forest over in the San Jacinto Range. So, uh, I'm wondering how high I'll actually get, what the highest I'll ever, ever actually see that plant is. You really know me, I'm a plant, kind of a plant nut. And I get kind of geeky over, uh, you know, finding plants out of where you would normally expect to find them, like at higher elevations than where you'd expect. So, I get a little nutty about that. But seeing them at 6,700 feet kind of, kind of blew my mind, actually. I never expected that. And seeing high leaf cherry at as high as 6,004, 6,500 feet along the Cedar Springs Trail, which leads up to the Desert Divide. So let's see here. This is the left fork. As you saw, there are two forks I'm taking the left. I'm just going to see what becomes of this. Carrying, carrying quite a heavy pack today. I don't know if I told you the mileage I'm expecting to cover at the beginning of the first clip, but this could be close to a 13 mile hike, roughly about a 13 mile hike. Did some Google Earth uh, research on this route and 
it this uh, fire road route does a lot of switchbacks and curves so we're gonna be raking in the mileage today like I said I expect it to be probably close to 13 miles so I did a rough estimate of it it's I went on uh, Google Earth and I t did this little they have these little options on the top and you can play put place marks you can trace a path so I use I traced a path of course since there are so many curves it's hard to follow it a hundred percent perfectly but when I did it it came out to be about six miles and obviously it was a very rough estimate didn't take into account some of the sharpness of the switchbacks so I'm guessing this could be a 13 mile hike and but I did see there were some ups and downs especially uh, once we get towards the divide there there are going to be some ups and downs because the uh, net elevation the net elevation difference between where I parked which is about 2,980 feet above sea level and the top of 5,074 foot Mount Lukens is roughly about 2,100 feet uh, but given the ups and downs this could be closer to 24, 2,500 feet so it's going to be in the tougher category mostly for different distance I'm not expecting any insane insanely steep areas so we are along a service road but I'm gonna I'm just gonna guess that the elevation change the elevation gain is probably gonna be about 2,500 feet roughly I'm gonna allow a couple hundred feet for the ups and downs along the way so I'll go with that that's what I'm anticipating about 13 ish miles with about 2,500 feet of gain so it'll be my longest hike I've done since 2019 and uh, most elevation gain I've done since 2019 I think so it's good trying to get back to more of these uh, these hikes again well so when you come out to that first junction make sure you make a left at that first fork the other the other fork I think stays on is Hoyt Mountain Road and it'll probably take you take you around the I think it takes you around the side of Hoyt Mountain or right near it that's my objective way over there that's Mount Lukens I know I'm definitely above 3,000 feet now because I've been steadily climbing very gently but steadily ever since but yeah that big hogback over there that's Mount Lukens and it looks mighty from here <laughs> but I've been always pointing out Mount Lukens on my hikes like I pointed out probably like three or four times on last week's videos so why not finally go for it and I could have taken the Stone Canyon Trail which would have been actually much more elevation gain than this but over a much shorter distance or I could have done it from Duke Majan Wilderness Park or I could have taken some of the roads from that area too but I felt like going for a little distance today those hikes I think are closer to 10 miles I almost did but I kind of want to amp up the mileage a little bit so I'm about to run out of juice got to switch some batteries and I'll see you on the next clip Just looking back down towards Angeles Crest Highway and that line right there that's a dirt road for uh, I think CCC Ridge 
Civilian Conservation Corps Ridge. Well, I'll see you on the next round.